Fast Lawyer VR Reviews. For sexy VR reviews, hit the subscribe button. Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for Reflection VR, a game released on the Steam Store today, September 28th, 2022. Reflection officially supports the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and the Oculus Rift. It normally retails for $10. It's on a release sale, 15% off. I received a free Steam key through the Steam Curator Connect program to review this game, and I tested it out on the MetaQuest 2 using Link Cable. Reflection is a Chinese puzzle game. It's a very chill, relaxing puzzle game where you explore this multi-dimensional world where you enter through mirrors or use lanterns to activate switches and you use other mechanics such as the bow and arrow to cause different effects. So a lot of these puzzles are logic based but there's also a lot of just exploration and trying different things. Um, so far I played about two hours of this game and I believe I finished the first three worlds in this game or chapters rather there's seven total chapters in this game so I would expect I've been going at a pretty slow pace just exploring around uh, like I said this is very chill and relaxing and the thing about this puzzle game is there's very simple graphics here, very simple artwork, but it is so beautiful once you're in there. The worlds that were created here are just so lovely to explore. And I usually am not a big fan of teleportation, but the worlds here are just so beautiful to explore that I've been teleporting everywhere, trying to get different vantage points, different viewpoints of this beautiful world. That is such a joy to explore. And I've been doing that just as much as I've spent time trying to figure out these puzzles. So a lot of my time has been spent just appreciating the artwork here. Again, very simple artwork, very low polygons, but very beautiful, very relaxing. And I really like that about this puzzle game is that yes, these are logic puzzles but just being observant, noticing little different things, just trying out different things, you'll eventually get to the solution and you feel absolutely no rush at all to get to the end point because the worlds are so beautiful and such a joy to explore around. Um, the chapters are split up into mini levels. So, you know, you can just finish the mini level and as long as you do that, your progress will be saved. So you're not under any time pressure. And if you need to leave, it's not such a burdensome thing to leave the world and come back later. Because like I said, the chapters are split up into many different levels. And each level just has like a little different theme to it with uh, different types of puzzles and i have really enjoyed my time here in reflection vr i'm not the biggest puzzle fan out there you know i do like good puzzle games and i would definitely say reflection is one of the most chill relaxing yet fun and challenging enough puzzle games um, that i have played so just as a total package i have really enjoyed my time in Reflection VR. Reflection VR is running on the Unity engine. On my RTX 3080, I was getting a steady 90 frames per second. I did not experience any serious issues or bugs. However, I will say that there is no height adjustment and there is no recentering within the game. So it is possible to move away from the lantern and not be able to get back to it but as long as you're careful and don't stray away too far from the lantern you should be okay but somehow i did manage at least one time 
to move away from the lantern enough that I just couldn't find a way to get back. Even though I tried recentering within Oculus and Steam VR resetting, recentering from those, but I still couldn't get back to get the lantern because you do need the lantern in your hand in order to be able to teleport. Now, like I said, there's only teleportation here. Plus you do have snap turning as well. You can play this game seated, but you will be a bit too low to the ground. So for the most part, I was playing standing because I didn't like how low to the ground you were. And I really just wanted to appreciate a lot of the viewpoints and vantage points that you have in this game. There are so many nice vistas in this game. So you just want to get the best view of those. So standing definitely helps. And you know, this game is just so relaxing to play. Getting in these boats was a lot of fun. You know, just to like a little slow paced roller coaster almost. You know, just trying to get from point A to point B. And you enter these mirrors and you just have a little bit different perspective in the world. Uh, later on, there's these drawings that you teleport into that change up the mechanic and there's stuff that you can break away from those paintings. It definitely brings an extra bit of depth to the puzzles. And I did notice that the puzzles were slowly getting more difficult the further into the game I was. Like I said, I think I was into the fourth chapter when I decided that I needed to quit because it's pretty late here where I'm at. So I'm having to do a very quick review. I would have loved to have done a full review for you guys on this game, but it's just so late where I'm at and I just got the game. I just got the free Steam key today. So I really did not have a lot of time to try to put this initial impressions review together for you guys. And I did edit the video. I normally don't do that with Let's Play and initial impressions because I want you guys to see the full gameplay but I didn't want to show the puzzle solution. So I hid most of them. So I did have to edit the video. And so what I'm doing now is just adding the audio, my voice later on in the process, but basically still doing a let's play initial impressions type review versus the normal full review that I do with edited videos. Um, Cause I like to do let's play with unedited videos. This is one of the few ones I've ever done with edited video. But again, I didn't want to spoil the puzzles for you guys. So I just showed enough for you guys to get a sense for the puzzles and they are as chill and relaxed as they look like. And I don't know if you can tell from the YouTube video, but this world looks a lot more beautiful in VR and I didn't think so. Just by looking at the store page video, I thought, oh man, these low graphics, it doesn't look really good. But once you're in the world, you know, the artwork just is so good that it doesn't matter that these aren't the best fidelity visuals out there. The artwork is really good and the world is so beautiful that you appreciate what's there. So I definitely do recommend this game. Uh, I don't think I feel comfortable scoring this game since I've only finished three chapters out of seven. I did start the fourth chapter, um, but so far I have really enjoyed the game. I really like the visuals. I like the music. The soundtrack here is really good. I like the ambient sounds and I've really enjoyed solving these puzzles. They really are a joy to solve. This is perfect for casual puzzle fans. Hardcore puzzle fans may not like this game because you know the puzzles aren't really all that difficult so far But like I said, they have been slowly building up in difficulty. So maybe later on they are more difficult But I really enjoyed this game and if I would have to score it based on what I played I'm leaning towards like either a 7 or an 8 out of 10. It's really good. I recommend it I think at this price it is a good deal Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I hope you enjoyed my initial impressions review. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.